Hello class, this is Mrs. Zappia with Eureka Math, Module 1, Lessons 1 through 6, Review for Quiz. You'll want to have out a piece of paper, a pencil, and a calculator. Question 1. Write the ratio as a fraction in simplest form. The ratio is 8 to 40. Pause the video and solve the problem. Question 2. For rate, write the rate for Dan downloading songs to buy CDs. Dan downloaded 32 songs and bought two CDs. Thirty-two over four, or eight to one. Unit rate. Determine the unit rate. Eight videos uploaded in four minutes. Pause and complete the problem. Eight videos divided by four units equals two. Two videos per minute. You go shopping and buy a 12 pound family package of ground beef for $29.26. There is also a manager special coupon for $5.50 off per purchase. How much did you? How much did you pay per pound? Pause the video and solve the problem. So first you want to subtract the 550 to find out what you paid, and then you want the unit rate per pound, so you divide the money by how many pounds you purchased. So we have 2376 divided by 12 pounds, giving you $1.98 per pound. Next, does each table show a proportional relationship? Explain. Solve for table A and then check your answer. No. When you divide y by x, so 10 divided by 6, you get 0.6. When you divide 14 by 8, you get a different answer. And since the unit rate is different, the answer is no, it is not a proportional relationship. Solve for table B and correct your answer. The unit rate is 4. 12 divided by... 12 divided by 3 is 4. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So the unit rate is 4, making this a proportional relationship. Solve for table C before checking your answer. And the unit rate is 2, so the answer is yes. In our next question, Determine if the graph shows a proportional relationship between elapsed time and the height of the candle. Pause the video and then check your answer. Although the data passes, although the data is a straight line, it does not pass through the origin, so it is not a proportional relationship. Is this graph proportional? And explain. No. Although a line passes through the origin, it is not straight, so this is not a proportional relationship. Is this graph showing a proportional relationship between the number of hours and the number of miles? Yes, the line passes through the origin and the line is straight, so the graph shows a proportional relationship. Mrs. Zappia can't get her day started without a big cup of coffee from Dunkin' Donuts, but she also wants to make sure she's getting the best buy for her money. Which of the following sizes would be the best buy? Justify your answer by explaining and showing your work. So you'll want to find the unit rate for each size and then compare those for the best deal. Pause the video and solve the problem. The 16 ounce cup is 13 cents per ounce. The 20 ounce cup is 20 cents per ounce, and the 28 ounce cup is 12 cents per ounce. The better value is the one that is the cheapest per ounce, so the better value is the 28 ounce cup. That concludes our review video. We will do a review 
uh, and go over these answers. Be ready for our quiz.